They've been scrambling to find the source of the deadly flu. Now Mexican authorities say they believe a woman from the southern state of Oaxaca could be the first victim of the virus they blame for 179 deaths so far. The 39-year-old mother of three is among the dead. She fell ill in early April. She went from clinic to clinic to find out what was wrong, but doctors were baffled. She died shortly after being admitted to hospital as an emergency case. Experts only identified the killer virus 10 days later. Molecular biology expert Gerardo Juarez said he was given a sample of the woman's DNA to analyze after her death. I was afraid for the patient of what the virus could do to her because my only objective was to find the causal agent in the pathology that was affecting the patient, nothing more. I believe that when we operate like that, things like this happen. No más, eh? The woman worked as a door-to-door -door census taker and could have had contact with large numbers of people. The previously unknown flu virus combined swine, bird and human flus. But Mexico's health minister is dismissing allegations too little was done to prevent the spread of the virus. Mexico ha podido aplicar de manera oportuna una serie de medidas Mexico has been able to apply appropriately a series of measures to minimize the progression of the virus, which has allowed us to maintain the situation at a controlled level. We are working actively with the health authorities of different countries, especially those of the United States and Canada, and also with the international health organizations, principally the World Health Organization. As a result, it is clear that it is not just a problem, but a global problem. On Friday, Mexico began a five-day shutdown of offices and businesses in a bid to slow down the spread of swine flu. The president is urging people to spend the time at home with their families.